Well done, yes you can. Because he's so awesome. When I walk into the school every morning, it, it can be one of many places. It can be a place of, of learning where uh, something may be taking place in a social setting that is helping the, the young people here at the school. Let me have a chat to you. It can be a place of energy, uh, enthusiasm, and it can be a place of chaos. Every new day brings new challenges and uh, new excitement, uh, so it's never a dull moment. So by the time they get to here, they've failed in you know, their eyes or in the system's eyes or, or in their family's eyes so many times. The kids that come here and, and rock up here really are at their end of their tether. The John Burns School, a place for rebuilding their spirits and their education. Well, the kids at John Burns School can be hilarious, you know, they're, they're just such characters, such personalities, um, all different. The John Byrne was very much like one of the boys here, very much, you know, uncooperative, ran away, uh, didn't do any work, you know, and Champagne always said, where else will he go? And so literally, Champagne says, no, we've got, to, we've got to persevere with him. It really appealed to me in a sense of, you know, being Marist and the work of Champagne. I think this is uh, certainly a modern day version of that. And this will get, you know that module we talked about, you said you can do easy? Done. I think the, the teachers have a special relationship with the students and I, I think the reason they, they work here is because they want to work with these sort of children. The reasons are selfish. Philosophically, human beings have a need to do work that is meaningful. Kind of, you're on the right track. They find satisfaction in, um, has purpose, etc. There's two things. Um, there's a bit like. The reasons are probably also spiritual as well. Absolutely. For me personally, I would say most definitely the students here have made me a better person. And I'm doing it. This is a Mara school in the sense that it, it has a tradition to uh, not give up on the young person. They just haven't found the right niche or the right little way to go about it. And I think it's important that we continue to provide positive reinforcement for them to achieve the success that they so richly deserve. I think it's crucial that the staff that work here are passionate about their role and they need to be enthusiastic and David, and completely committed to helping the students be the best they can be. Don't worry, we're going to get you there with literacy, you're going to learn how to read, you're going to learn how to do basic math. It's kind of like, no I'm not, because people have told me this before, and why are you any different? Potatoes in a little bit, see if they're ready. So it takes a long time to actually establish the trust with the students to begin with and create that relationship and then after they start trusting you they go oh you're actually coming good on your promise and oh I'm seeing improvement and wow this is actually not that bad. His work might be something you can look I at. feel it's a really important ingredient that the, the students learn how to repair a relationship with a student, with a teacher, with somebody outside of the school, with their parents. It's not really directed at me, you know, so you say Oh, well, that was yesterday. We'll try again today, shall we? For the staff, I think the, the greatest joy is when they can see a kid whose face lights up and they know that, that they have succeeded in something, that they have learnt. I can do it. I can do it. And, and sometimes those are very short glimpses, but those, I think, are the critical things for teachers when they can see that. I think in your heart you know that I've made a difference with this kid and I remember what they were like when they first came in and you can see those little steps that they've made. I'm not saying we produce miracles here, but I really do think 
the John Byrne School will bring to their lives something, even if it's five years down the track. For me, the biggest joy is when kids who've left the school come back to visit. I just love that. When you see them further down the track, it's a reminder that what we're doing here is worthwhile and what an impact it's had on their lives. That's a good, that's about the time I went to. I think the message of love them all and love them all equally is what is brought to life here. Where do we do this go? I'm going to take this, this one later because it's important.